Now let's look at stringing multiple 1-bit adders together into an 8-bit adder. Now each of these boxes comes from Logisim and it's a full adder. It's a 1-bit full adder. So we look at the first one here. There's two inputs, they right here, um, and A and B. We didn't label them as such, but nonetheless, there they are. These are the two inputs. Now there is a carry in on this box, but since this is the low order bit, these are the this is the low order bits to high order bits. There is no carry here because there's no previous operation. So the output here is the sum uh, and the carry. This is the carry. It's a little awkward, but that's the carry coming out. And this is the carry in position on this circuit. So the second circuit here is a little different than the first circuit. Uh, in that we have the carry in in addition to A and B and our outputs are the same, the sum and a carry. So now we, uh, and we've just repeated that over and over until we get down to the final uh, final here and the final here has a carry that uh, doesn't go anywhere. That would indicate an overflow. If we got a carry out of the high order position um, that would be an overflow. So let's try some numbers. We put a 1 in here, sum is 1. Put a 0 in here, sum is 0 carry one forward and the next adder is showing a 1. If I put a 1 here this is going to show a 0 and the carry flips over to here. And if I put another one here we get a 1 and we get um, uh, the carry coming across and we get the 1 over here the carry remained the same and so forth and so on. So if I just keep uh, maxing these things out we can see the answer coming along um, is our answer so far uh, for this value. Whoops, I got one on zero. Um, didn't want to take it. All right, so um, that that is the answer. Now, if I if I, if I the problem here is now we've got an overflow. We've got a carry that's not being handled. That's fine. Um, there are ways of handling that. Um, what you want to do that might raise an error condition, or it might be ignored in the case of um, two's complement arithmetic. But there is how we can take the full adder and string them together to make uh, an adder for um, 8 bits. This obviously could be done for 16 bits, 32 bits, there's no limit.